Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. This is the scene here in the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes on a glorious day for football. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Bayern Munich. Well, it's not been a good start, has it? They really haven't played well. Unless they get something from this one, they'll certainly be in a relegation battle over the coming games. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Fabian plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Alfonso Davies plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kingsley Coman plays with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the main forward will be the highly versatile Sadio Mane. Might jump in front. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Joshua Kimmich. It's with Kingsley Coman. Mane. No luck for Sadio Mane. Soler. Hakimi. It's with Carlos Soler. Verratti. Lionel Messi. Options in the middle. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Coman. Zane in the middle. Well, not the best clearance. Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Ramos. Nuno Menge. Fabian. Here's Mbappe. Coman, Bayern pushing forward with options available. Coman, can he get them level? And fine goalkeeping. Neymar, good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Can he put it away? Could be. Oh, it was there for him. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. Verratti Mbappe with it Hakimi Mbappe disappointing pass Verratti now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position Hakimi. Soler. Here's Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. And in the back of the net for PSG. That lead extended to two now. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. While the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Dangerous looking through ball. He might profit from here, you know. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. 
Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Chance here. And hit with ferocity. It was close, but not quite good enough. Leroy Zane. And that pass could be troublesome. Mane! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Verratti. And now Carlos Soler. Neymar, able to get a body in the way. Options in the centre. Fabian. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Will it happen for them? Opportunity. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, there's overall contribution from midfield, chock full of positives. No getting away from that, Stuart. Well, Derek, I have to say, he has been a joy to watch today. So back in business here and PSG dominating the proceedings in the first half. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? Messi. And return to Mbappe. Oh, it might be. Well, it looks so promising. But a goal kicked the outcome. Joao Cancelo. Mane. Well, PSG doing well to regain control of the ball. Nuno Minj. Fine sequence of passes. Verratti. This is Sergio Ramos. Fabian. Neymar. And a very good challenge. Mbappe. On to Neymar. Soler. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Messi. Fabian and return to Messi having won the ball back they might be able to profit he scored once already and close to making it a double well every time he gets on the ball he looks a real danger today who can he pick out relatively straightforward to mop up defensively Mbappe into the advanced position and reading it absolutely superbly. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Let's see about the delivery. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Oh, he looks threatening. Neymar waiting to pounce. A deft clearance. Serge Gnabry not a good pass 
Fabian. On to Messi. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Neymar waiting to pounce. Struggling to get it away. Being egged on by the crowd. Spot on with that tackle. It's a weighted pass. Sané. Kimmich. Superbly read and executed. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And a goal it is from who else? Lionel Messi. Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. So back with the action, and PSG handing out a very harsh lesson here. Surely! And Mane has beaten the goalkeeper. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Ramos Fabian Med and Fabian throw in then for Bayern and into the last 15 minutes of action And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. It is a decent looking attack here. Muller. Will he finish? Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Elects to go short. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bernat Neymar Well, when you can keep the ball like this it's got to be really annoying for the opposition Kimpembe Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one Renato Sanchez Mukiele Mukiele he read the situation defensively and did his job. Ferreira. Determined defending. Sané and the flag was up in good time it's offside well he should have realized that was going to be offside that's a poor decision to play that pass Renato Sanchez Kylian Mbappe Bernat and a body in the way and the electronic board showing one additional minute He's going forward well here. Could reduce the deficit. 
And that will do it for this game anyway. And it goes into the history books as a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of that?